Good job, buddy. Thank you. Oh, you can put this on YouTube? Yeah, it's going to be YouTube. We have a million subs. It's going to be on YouTube. Let's go. I promise. I've tested this many times. Thank you. If you've seen my recent Facing Fears video, you know I just came back from Kissimmee, Florida. I also happen to have a partnership with Kissimmee, Florida. So while I was there vacationing, enjoying my time, facing my fears, I decided to do one of my favorite things and do a curbside console, Kissimmee edition. I literally ran around the streets of Kissimmee, Florida answering people's questions. Here's what happened. We were wondering okay. today if blood's true color was blue and it's only because of oxygen is red. That's a great question. So in your veins, the reason why you see the blue tint is because the blood is slightly deoxygenated, so it has a bluish tint. But in reality, blood is still red. It's true when we draw our textbooks and our anatomy pictures, we always make it blue, but that's strictly for education purposes. Which is the deoxygenated blood? Which is the oxygenated blood? But in reality, blood is still red. So if you cut your vein, the blood is not gonna come out blue. I promise, I've tested this many times. I have a question. Okay, we got a question now. Noodle soup. Yes. Good for colds and things like okay. that because I believe on it. That's okay, why. okay. Is it good for a common cold? I swear about chicken noodle soup. Ashley, what do you think? <laughs> I think it's you think it's true? Judy, what yes, do you think? Yes, I Judy? do believe that. We just went four for four. It's true. Probably has something to do with the electrolytes, the salt, uh, making sure you're getting your calories, that it's warm, it stimulates blood flow to the area. But it works. Good, good job, mom. I got one. Yes. Do you have a medical question? Do you have a medical question? Aspartame. Okay, what about aspartame? Okay. So is artificial sugar. Not? Truth be told from the research that we have now, harmful, we don't yet know that, that it's harmful. It's okay. not existing yet. Is it good for you? Probably not. Number one, aspartame is a lot more sweet than regular sugar, and it conditions your brain to want more sugar. Number two, there exists bacteria in your gut. That bacteria loves sugar, and that's the unhealthy bacteria that loves the sugar. You don't want those bacteria around because they cause you to gain weight, they actually influence your cravings to want more food, and when you eat aspartame, you don't digest it so you don't get the calories and the sugar, but the bacteria do. Oh. So you increase the number of the bacteria that crave sugar, so you're gonna want more sugar. That bacteria is, makes you more likely to eat more food and get obese and all these things. If you want something sweet occasionally, maybe have a teaspoon of honey, mm -hmm. something that brings some other benefits, have some apples, have some bananas, you know, things that, in addition to the sugar, will have some fiber and vitamins. So yeah, drink regular sodas, right? No, 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 I don't need <laughs> soda. <laughs> okay, if I wanna get rid of this, Sorry, That's okay, we can bleep it. That's Perfect. awesome. I like that so, you're passionate. I want to delete this, but I don't have time even to walk. Obviously, I'm still going to tell you that you should make time to exercise. Right. And guess what? It doesn't even have to be a lot of time. If you have 15 minutes, you can do something known as high intensity training, right? For 30 seconds, you go as hard as you can. And then for two minutes, you go slow and walk. And if you do that cycle for 15 minutes, that's really good exercise. You need to lose some weight. But let's forget about exercise for a moment. The real way to lose this is actually by changing your diet. There's no one way that works for everybody. A couple of things that you can follow that's gonna help. Cutting the amount of calories you eat, sodas, sweets, pancakes, white bread, yeah, white yeah, rice. Yeah. And even if you do like a half lowering, you don't have to stop eating them completely. You will see a big difference. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm gorgeous! Maybe you as a med student, you have a good medical question for me. Shoot, tell me, what do you got? Your best studying technique. The first thing, the tip that I'll give you is not to worry about the test that's coming up three tests from now. Okay. Right, because you have a test this week, but then you also have a test the next week, the exactly. next, and if you start thinking about that whole line of testing, you're gonna go crazy and you won't be able to focus on this test. Okay. Next is to figure out how you learn best. I learn very well through listening, okay. not so good from reading. Okay. So what I would do is I would replay my lectures over and over again Ooh, okay. and listen to them. Next, you wanna figure out what the best, most efficient way for you to learn through like flashcards, study cards, and not just by yourself. Okay. So it's about creating the cards and then getting a partner okay. or maybe a group, a group and okay. doing it together. Maybe you're not gonna remember the information if it's written on a card, okay. but if you and your partner talked about the concept, Wow. You can That's remember the conversation. Yeah, sure. And then the best technique that works in all medicine, you'll learn this, you'll hear it very often. Okay. See one, do one, teach one, right? Okay. So for you, what does okay. that mean? That means you see the information, sure. right? You study the information, and then you try and teach it to your friend. Big answer, right? That's great. All right, good stuff. When I was pregnant with my son, okay. I um, 
had preeclampsia. Okay. And I developed a pulmonary edema. Okay. Now, what is the chances of that happening if I have a second pregnancy? Because you you're now fall into the category of someone who has pre had preeclampsia in your first pregnancy, mm -hmm. the odds are much more likely that you'll have it. That doesn't mean that you will have it for sure. Mm -hmm. But what that means for you is when you go on your follow-up visits with your doctors when you start your next pregnancy, mm -hmm. you have to make sure they all are aware that you've had preeclampsia yeah. and that they're very stringent in monitoring your blood pressure, symptoms of preeclampsia, as you know, like headaches, yeah. swelling of the lower extremities, high blood pressure, like all yeah. of these things need to be really carefully monitored okay. because you can technically control it very well or worst case scenario, you can induce the pregnancy earlier on than mm -hmm. naturally would have, but it will prevent you from obviously having true eclampsia, which is yeah. obviously very serious. Yeah. But I'm glad you had that Thanks. question. Thank you so much. I love doing curbside consults. I think it's a great way to show that doctors are relatable, we're humans too, and most importantly, it answers people's medical questions. And questions they may be too afraid or embarrassed to ask their own doctor. Now, what makes this even more exciting is that I can do a curbside consult anywhere. I've done it in New York City, now I've done it in Kissimmee, but if you have a recommendation of where you think it might be cool that I do it, drop it down below in the comments. If you're enjoying the channel, please hit subscribe. And as always, stay happy and healthy. I think for everyone that has gone through hardship through medical school, well, like, thank you. you keep us on the track. Okay. You, know, like, you can make it. I know it's hard. It's gonna be hard yep. until we finish, but it's always awesome. like- Awesome, thank you for telling me that. No. I appreciate that. Oh, come on, I can't, I can't diagnose you on the street like have that. Have you ever seen this? Okay, let me see. I mean, I have seen it. Do you mind just saying to the camera that you're cool with this being on YouTube? I am. You're cool with it being yeah, on YouTube? Yeah, but I also want to know where it's coach. You seen coach? <laughs>